telling you. Those cymbals sound so good. I was just telling you about why my cymbals sound so nice and why. Long time ago, when I first started uh, being able to, after we had our first hits, I was into Zildjian cymbals, and then I started going to the factory in New Haven, Connecticut. And when I went there, there was a basement. I was able to go pick out my cymbals. But these particular cymbals right here was very fortunate. Uh, after Katrina here in New Orleans, you know, we was up there. I had my stuff up on the seventh floor in my uh, vault that I had. And I couldn't get to them after the flood because there was water all up around New Orleans. And then I called up some of my uh, endorsers. Uh, my drums are DW. DW. It's a wonderful, beautiful drum company. I love them. One, a lot of reasons why. One, the American made. Start with, D, you know, I mean, I had Ludwig, but DW, you know, really are fine drums. They make the drums out of one piece of wood. So if you ever get a D, set of DW, you're going to have a serial number on each drum, and somebody steal it. Somebody steal these drum. They know they blow the hell around. They didn't know what piece of wood it came out of. So don't F with my drums. The next thing is, uh, so I couldn't get to my drums, so I called up DW and I said, DW, I got this gig. It's going to be the Schumann's uh, Casino. In Northern California. I, need, I need at least a, a foot pedal, two foot pedals. I play Calabi with the left foot. I need two, and I need a, 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 a snare drum. Just give me some used stuff. I go by DW Drums in Vendor, California. I went in there, and boy, it only bring tears to my eyes. They had brand new stuff there for me. In the time of need, DW came through. And then Sabian Cymbals. Ah! Now here's the funny thing about Sabian. I'm doing a gig in New Orleans, and I'm at a hotel, and I'm playing a wedding. Bobby Booz, who's a, a representative of Sabian Cymbals, he come by my gig at, at uh, the Mont Leon Hotel in New Orleans. And who does he have here? Bill Zildjian. Yeah, one of the Zildjian kids. Bill Zildjian comes by, and they were trying to get me, you know, tell him, you know, get me to jump from Sabian to Zildjian. And I find out from Bill Zildjian that really uh, Sabian and Zildjian are from the same family. Uh, Zildjians were made here in America. Old man Zildjian. They had some uh, cousins, relatives, whatever came over. And they were here. They were machinists. And because they couldn't get their green card, because immigration wasn't right, I'm not going to go into the details about that. They weren't allowed to come to the country, so they went to Canada and they started making Sabian. Sabian is a, a, a word that comes from two of the kids. I think it was one of the, uh, the sons and the daughter. And that's how they came with Sabian. And Sabian was created and made by the machinists. Zildjian was more of the uh, administrative, more of the marketing, yada, yada, yada. So when he told me that story, I opted and I stuck with Sabian. I'm still a Sabian man. So after the floods in, at Katrina, I couldn't get to my symbols, and I had an opportunity. I was invited to go to Sabian uh, uh, Distribution Center there in Burbank, California, and pick out my symbols. And when I went in, the thing about it, you got to listen to symbols. Drumming is not just beating on something. Your drums and your symbols have got to blend into what you're playing, what kind of music you're playing. So when I know like the music, like when I'm talking about Lowrider, why can't the Francisco Kid, World is Ghetto, All Day Music, and yada, 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 and on and on and on, and don't let no one get you down, and yada, 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 and spill wine, and all that. I think in taking consideration the tonality of what I'm playing. So when you listen to my symbol, you're going to hear certain things. You hear that. When I hit the bell, you hear it. My sticks. Regal tip, Carlotta, uh, you know, Carlotta, uh, Regal tips. I pick a certain weight because a certain weight is going to give you sound similar certain sounds. So when I go, and if I go, and here's the book, look at this one with the holes in it. Look at this. And if I play it, 
I got that from Herman Ernest that played with Dr. John. By the way, he tunes the best drums in the world, Herman Ernest. Check him out, he played with Dr. John. So when I try to get my cymbals, I try to think about a tonality. So when I'm doing something like uh, slipping in the darkness, Now, I never even touched a drum except the bass drum. That's why it's important, you drummers, don't just buy a bunch of cymbals, figure out what's going on. By the way, the first drum set was created by Baby Dobbs. That's him over there with the first drum set. Stay right there, I'll bring you the picture, and you'll see it. I got this from Tulane University. Baby Dobbs, he was in like uh, 19... 20s, probably 1923, 27. He took a, a marching bass drum, a marching drum, Turkish cymbals, and he created the first set up of drums. That's Baby Dobbs. Down in New Orleans, his name is Warren Baby Dobbs Drums. He's the one that came up with the trap set. So all you drummers out there, it wasn't Gene Cooper. I love Gene Cooper and all those cats, but it was Baby Dobbs. So now we're talking about why the symbols are important to your drum set. Uh, we found that there's different grooves that I've been getting into lately in recent years. When I say recent years, the last 10 years or so, I got turned on by some young kids. I seen them doing clave while playing drums, and they had an uh, apparatus that I got on my left, and you'll take a cutaway later. But I used to play clave. Clave is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then they got the two, three, and the three, two. So depending on what you're playing, depending on the music. Then I started playing, I started playing this rhombo. I said, damn, and I started crying like a baby. Then I start putting a little second line to it, I start going. Woof! I thought I said, damn! I start crying like a little, is it okay, can I say sissy? <laughs> yes, I did. And then I started saying, I said, dang, what else? And then it starts in. I said, dog, go! Wait a minute. So then I started saying, well, wait a minute. Well, if I can do that, I go. <laughs> <laughs> 